फाइव सेकेंड चार मिस्टर वाइस चेयरमैन सर इट वॉज फेल्ड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम दैट द लिमिटेशन एक्ट ऑफ नाइनटीन जीरो एट विच हैड सर्टेन अमेंडमेंट डिजर्व रिकंसिडरेशन इन ऑल इट्स आस्पेक्ट विद दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इन व्यू नॉट ओनली रिगार्डिंग दिस एक्ट but regarding all the act that are at present in force after independence we appointed a law commission to revise all our laws sir the law commission went into this matter in very great detail and referring to certain basic principles that have been adopted a certain amendments that have been suggested by the commission of revision appointed in the united kingdom they have gone through the whole enactment and suggested certain modifications not only in section but also in articles i am very glad that the law ministry has brought forward the bill on the basis as the deputy law minister has pointed out that they have not followed the recommendations of the law commission but in general they have adopted the recommendations of the law commission in most of its aspect sir as this matter is to be entrusted to the joint committee of both the houses it will have the benefit of the deliberations of all those members who are in the select committee and so generally speaking neither is this the occasion nor the practice to go into details but we can just suggest certain general matters so that the select committee may take them into consideration while deliberating in detail on the different provisions of this bill sir in view of my experience as a lawyer i feel that the law of limitation is a procedural matter except in certain sections where it confers definite rights on account of possession or certain other matters we have to see that the matters that are disputed or are under litigation are disposed of in as short a period as possible the trend everywhere is that the people should not be kept in suspense either before litigation or after litigation so my humble suggestion to the members of the select committee will be to see that the course of litigation is as much circumscribed as much reduced as is possible in consonance with the basic principles of fairness justice and 
equity to substantiate what i am submitting i would give an example and the members of the select committee will go into details of the law commission reports so far as matter relating to trustees to whom the property has been entrusted or in case of disability as minor or insane persons and similar cases are concerned of course we will have to take all necessary precautions and if necessary we can extend the time so that these persons who are suffering under any disability should not in the long run suffer on account of the provisions of the limitation act that is one of the fundamental thing which i hope the select committee will bear in mind apart from these two consideration the other consideration that i will place before the select committee is relating to property whether it is on the basis of contract or otherwise i am glad that they are trying to very much simplify things by including definite categories into a simple form similarly by including petition in applications they are trying to cover up a bigger scope and all these details i need not go into at this stage but i would request that they get the time reduced rather than extend it for instance in money matter instead of 3 years i would be happy if it is a case of 1 year in matter of land of course those days when there were big zamindars big talukdars or zagidars were different now the whole trend has changed if at all a litigation is confined to commercial matter where everybody is alert the circumstances do demand and if there is anything wrong if somebody wants to claim something from the other party it is no use sleeping over it so the period of limitation should be considered in all these matters from this angle that so far as possible let the litigation be introduced or let the suit be filed as early as possible and accordingly the disposal could also be done so i would request the select committee to take the changed circumstances of the country into consideration and come to the conclusion to simplify matter and let us reduce it so that the limitation as far as possible may be reduced we know that protracted disputes go on as i have just pointed out which gives rise to different interpretations as is evident from the law commission report and the different high court have taken different views on certain matters 
that creates confusion that creates difficulties unless either in the old decisions there is a clear decision of the privy council or at present there is a clear decision of the supreme court difficulties would arise so i would suggest that all these cases should be taken into consideration full stop